All right, guys, Ken Nesbitt just taught us about acrostic poems. In order to write our own acrostic poem, we need to follow some of his steps. When we're creating an acrostic, it always starts with brainstorming, and it's the same as every writing process. We always start with a big brainstorm. This means we need to think of as many ideas as we can and we need to write them down. And so what we're gonna do is, well, what you're gonna do is you'll write an acrostic poem that has to do with something with summer. As a model for me, I need to find a word that reminds me of spring because I don't wanna steal your creativity and do summer too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up with a word that has to do with spring, all right? When I think spring, I think April showers, May flowers, I think of rain and rainbows, I think of all these different flowers growing, I think of the grass and all the animals coming out. And so I was thinking, well, what word could I do that has to do with spring? And I came up with a silly one like grow because all things grow. So as an example, we're gonna set up our acrostic poem. All right, and so to do that, if I'm gonna choose the word grow, what I'm gonna do is, you don't have to do this in marker, you can do this in pen or pencil, but I'm gonna put a big G here I'm going to skip a line, do an R. I'm going to skip a line, do an O, and then skip and do a W. Now, this means that I have to come up with words or phrases that all start with a G, an R, an O, or a W. But what we're going to do first is we're just going to just throw up as many words as we can onto a piece of paper that you think of when you think of grow. So let's get started on this. And all I'm gonna do is, let's just go with it. Okay. I've got green, flowers, tulips, rainbows, grass, animals, Bunny, birds, chirp, um, pond, play outside. All right, so when I thought spring and I thought the word grow, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking about all these things and I just put them on paper. Now it's time to actually do our poem with G, R, O, and W. So let's get started. I'm gonna set up my paper again. And I'm gonna use what I brainstorm to fill in the G, the R, the O, and the W of my acrostic poem. So in this case, for my G, well, some of my brainstorm started with green and grass. So why don't I do green grass grows tall what about my R? What are some things that have to do with R? Well, I talked about flowers. What type of flowers? Roses, rainbows. All right, why don't we do that? Roses rise and bloom. So that's what flowers do. Oh, 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 what do you do? Well, if you watch things, what's a fancy word for watch? Observe. So why don't we do, you observe or watch the pretty flowers. And then a W. When do 
have to do with flour? What? <laughs> That's silly. You water them too. All right, so let's read my acrostic poem. Green grass grows tall, roses rise and bloom. Observe the pretty flowers, water them too. I'm done. I have written an acrostic poem that has to do with spring. I'm gonna do this, my spring acrostic. And there you have it. I listened to his uh, recommendations on brainstorming all my thoughts. I chose a word that had to do with spring and then I wrote my acrostic about it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up an, um, your acrostic poem, but it has to do with summer. Thanks for paying attention, guys.